Hey there, Smoke Master D coming at you with an episode uh, of Barbecue Buyer's Guide in which I actually get to show you this Blue Smoke Offset Smoker. Um, so I want to walk you through everything about the smoker first, and then uh, we're going to do a biscuit test. Uh, one thing I was a little disappointed about, um, this cover here didn't make the journey quite as well as I had hoped. Uh, and I'll show you the, the holes that uh, are there. So I've covered it up with some black duct tape. Uh, and now, um, the one thing about it is it is under warranty. I guess, you know, the straps across this, they were just too much on that long journey from Texas. Uh, so it, it broke. Um, but it's under warranty. And I think Big Phil is going to get me out the new one. Uh, sometime soon. Let me show you how to take it off. You start from the back. Um, there's a zipper part over here. So I'm going to unzip it. And then up at the top here. And so you see that we have smokestack here. It's one eighth inch steel, which is pretty common for uh, offset smokers like this to have a little bit thinner steel here than in the chamber uh, or the firebox. We've got the stack damper here. One thing I noticed is that the stack only uh, opens to uh, about three fourths open. There's still a fourth there. And because of this, uh, the way that they do it, it won't open any further. Talk to him about that and he says that it's fine. I guess we'll see. Now by cutting this tab here, I, I believe that I can make it so that it opens all the way, you know, to pivot all the way around. Um, and then it would open from this side rather than from this side. And I think that would be fine. All right, and here we are at the front of the smoker. Um, we've got the tell true gauge here. Um, let's open it up. All right, it does take a little bit to pull this quarter inch door up, uh, but it will go up with a one handed pull. Uh, and I'm not the strongest guy either. Um, Got a couple bars here to reinforce the door so it's not going to warp on us. Uh, so here we've got the handle uh, for the chassis. Wanted to show you uh, this front shelf uh, before we go into the chamber. Uh, you can see the design there. It's got two knobs. One goes in there, one swings around here. And then when you have them both together, they swing up into position. There it is there. Uh, I don't think that there's any linseed oil or any other treatment on this thing. So it is something that I'm gonna have to put on myself. Uh, so that that's gonna have to happen soon. A little bit of rust is already showing up. I'm going to have to scrape that off with a wire brush and get some linseed oil on there. All right, let's come on in. Um, and that sun is on us some, but... All right, you see here we've got this shelf for the water. I may use it. Uh, we'll see. I know I talked about it in that other episode that I did. I'm going to pull it out. All right, and down there you see the scoop baffle. Um, now, one thing that's already got me a little bit is that there's a bit of sharpness on the edges of uh, where they cut this expanded metal. Um, it's been a couple days ago, but it got me right there, and it bled some. Uh, so I may, may take uh, an angle grinder on that, too and wear those down a little bit, take that edge off. 
um, so that it doesn't become a problem. All right. If we come under here, we're going to see a very nice ball valve for the grease. All right. If we look in here, we're going to notice that there is um, there's already some rust happening here. Um, there's a little bit of lip here. Uh, I would prefer that it wasn't there, but it's not probably going to be very consequential at all. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I am going to get the wire brush in there, scrape that out, uh, get some canola oil on it and, and get it hot so that, uh, that rust will stop. Uh, the stem is only about two inches, which my other tell trues, I believe have three inch stems. And down here we see our group. All right. It does seem a bit stuck on the sides here, um, which is why I'm able to swing it out like this. I'm not entirely sure. It looks like there's a little bit of space down there underneath. I'm not sure if it fits this entirely. Uh, and I may have to grind a little bit on the sides there. Um, but it does move. It just usually uh, it'll take both of my hands to move it exactly into my into position. Now all right. Now one thing I did want to show you, and I'm not going to be able to get this exactly aligned right now, but there are about two inches, I think, of space at the end here where that heat is supposed to come up. So um, once I get the biscuits to cook tonight, I'm going to move that uh, baffle back to try to be in line with this thing. Um, one of the things about heat coming up is that it wears off any coating you put on, which is why you have to put on more oil on your firebox than any other place. Uh, and if they had made this for the grates to go all the way over over there and the heat to come up through the grates it would have taken the protection off of it so i'm glad that they've done it this way now we've got this here our handle you see this in uh, the closed position uh, when i first opened this thing up i found a little interloper uh, hiding on the door. Uh, I'll show you some of that. And now here, I've got it in second position, which apparently this is where the magic happens and you get the best draw. All right. It does appear that they did start a fire in here. This wasn't me. Um, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to light a fire in here tonight. So I'm looking forward to that. You look up into the uh, scoop baffle up there. And I got this thicker uh, 3 8 inch steel on this thing. Very nice and thick. Um, this is the first time I don't have a lip uh, down here. So I'm going to have to be careful of coals falling out. I think I'm going to put a pan right here to catch anything. Now, um, the last thing I'm going to mention is this badging here, uh, which looks all right. Um, I like the logo that they have for Blue Smoke Smokers better. Would have been nice if they could have made that, uh, you know, up here, here uh, instead of BSS. But uh, it is what it is. And uh, for a bargain smoker, so far, everything looks pretty good. Uh, and I'm excited to fire this baby up. All right, there it is. Fire is going. Couple lessons I want to pass on is one, 
be ready to tip um, your driver, the delivery driver, if you ask them to do anything extra, like help you bring this thing to the backyard. I uh, was not prepared, it caught me off guard, and I uh, was a little embarrassed. So I'm glad that he was able to take cash out because that was almost not a good situation. Um, the other thing is to have uh, your order double checked. Uh, one thing that I talked to you about with Phil was having the firebox on the opposite side of what it actually is right now. Somehow that didn't go through, so here I am with, with this firebox on this side. It's not a big deal, I'm going to make it work, uh, but you know, just make sure that you double check. Now I'm going to close this door down, see if we can get some draft. I already see some really good smoke coming out up there. Um, so here we go. All right, here we got the biscuits. Right now it's uh, about 290-ish. Uh, but once we open it up, I think it's going to lose some heat. Uh, just coming out because I'm going to have it open for a second. We'll see where it settles. It's supposed to have eight here. So I'm going to do one in each quadrant of the two. Um, I'll show you the biscuit distribution here. All right, let's close her back down. Okay. Temperature dropped down to about 225. It's going to probably climb a little bit in the next minute. Um, so check back in a little bit and see how these biscuits cook. All right, so I see a little bit of smoke coming from the door. Uh, doesn't bother me or concern me that much. Uh, these things seal up as creosote builds up on the inside of the smoker wall. So I'm not too, too worried about that. Um, airflow seems to be fairly good, even with... Uh, now, my fire was burning a little bit cleaner a second ago. All right. So, let me see. All right. I'm just going to put this a little bit further open. Maybe until that, uh, that smoke clears out a little bit. Yeah, that's why I got the pan down here. Ugh. Been so busy adding uh, an extra coat of linseed oil to the smoker that uh, I haven't been watching the temperatures that well. Got the whole thing shining and looking really good now. Just fed the fire. We're up a little past uh, at about 260 now. Firing up. All right, over here I've got this covered in linseed oil as well. If you're wondering what I did, I just cut off a, a piece of sponge like you'd find at the, uh, the hardware store. I took uh, my bottle of linseed oil, put it on there, and just tried to get in every nook and crevice of uh, metal just to cover it. Now, this isn't heated, so it's going to take a little while to create that protective coat. So I'm going to leave it out overnight. It's uh, protected by the oil. Tried to get this down here. You can see the rust that's still underneath, but uh, that covering should just lock it in. So good overall. Um, firebox was the hottest. I'm actually covered in sweat right now, uh, but I think it's about time to look at those biscuits. So, all right, let's see the results. All right. So from the top, they look pretty even. These are a tad dark. The one thing, these are a little bit more done than these ones. And these are a little bit more done. No, they're about the same as these. The one place that's going to be very different 
I think is the bottom closest to the firebox. I'm gonna turn these over. Um, this one's a little bit more done here on the back left. Interesting. So we got that plate really hot when I was making my coal bed, and I think that maybe the radiant heat had something to do with that. I don't know if I could move that uh, baffle in just a little bit, if that would help or not. I think I'm going to try it. All right, I've basically kept this thing at 225 most of the time here. I'm going to pull these off. All right, let's take a look here. All right. Yeah. So. All right. Okay, so. Yeah, these are a lot more even at that lower 225. These ones are a little bit more done. The middle is a little bit less done. You know, the air has to come back down uh, to get out. So I think that that is part of why this feels just a little bit more than this. Um, all in all, I am happy with this performance. Um, it's one of those things you play around with it a little bit more. Uh, you know, if we're going to try anything else, I might... Uh, close the, the stag damper down to about half and see how that does. I'm going to do a brisket cook next weekend, so maybe I'll try that out then. I'll see if I can film some of that for y'all. Um, but uh, that's all for, for this episode. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and you know what, y'all? Go get your smoke on. Mm -hmm.